the last video uh, with this table, I, I stained with paint the tabletop. You might notice it's quite purple looking. But the aim of this now is to put wax on it and make it into a beautiful mahogany look tabletop. This is my dark wax, bit of a battered tin, but that's fine. Here's my brush. It's my smaller wax brush. I find that really good. Um, I can handle it really well. And there's the wax, getting a nice load onto it there. Now I'm going to start waxing quite generously, different directions, making certain that you get into the grain of the wood. This isn't hugely, um, not a really grainy piece of wood. Uh, there's lots of history now, I can see. The, the stain has brought out all of that. I've got all sorts of little bits. It's quite a nice bit of grain just there. But then there's also lots of dents and bashes. It's got a history. Normally, I wouldn't put dark wax directly onto um, paint. But the paint is a stain at this stage. And also, the wax is acting like a stain as well. You'll notice I'm quite generous with the wax. There's a lot on there, and I'm working it all the time. You don't want the wax to dry, so you can't just leave it. You've got to keep working into it. It's fairly even, but not completely even. And although I can do it, continue with the brush. Actually, what's easier for me to do now is use some cloth. So what I'm doing here is taking off the excess wax rubbing it in, making certain it's all even. I'm not aiming to polish it at this point. So I did just one coat, and actually, to be frank, I wasn't that pleased with it. The wood didn't have that much grain, and it was looking quite good, but not quite right. So what I've done is give it a second coat of dark wax, and that is now making it really sing. You don't perhaps know what the wood is, but it just looks like it's beautiful and antique, it's got patina. So again, now just going over the second coat of wax to give it evenness, taking excess off. Ooh, that's looking gorgeous, ooh, gorgeous. So I've finished the tabletop now. Um, so the next bit is to paint the legs. I'm painting the legs with Louis Blue. Normally, what I would do with a table is turn it upside down, but I didn't do it for this one because what I was concerned about was getting the top. The top is the sort of star of the piece. So everything's finished now. Um, I've painted the bottom part in Louis Blue and it's all waxed. So now I'm going to give it a good polish and I do this the day after I've painted um, because you need to let the wax dry a little and you'll find it much easier to, give, to get that high shine if you leave it a day. I've got a beautiful, beautiful patina. I'm absolutely thrilled. It's really, really gorgeous. You will find that every piece of wood is quite different. So I've got some other pieces of wood here. This is just something new, completely new, and we've just put dark wax on it. I didn't do any stain on that at all. Um, this one here, uh, this is Greek blue, and I've put dark wax, but the Greek blue was done quite lightly. And this one here is graphite, and then dark wax put onto it. And the graphite's quite light, um, so it all depends on the wood, uh, it depends on how much grain there is, uh, it depends on the age. This is beautiful, great grain, but not much age to it, so it's very sleek looking. This had much more age. Uh, or you might have something which is an old piece and you get lots of grain to it and the age as well. So it all depends and every single one is going to be very, very different.